Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss how radiant heat works. So radiant heat is, um, in general, it's one type of heat or heat loss in specific. Um, and so we're going to talk about the four different types of heat loss and then we're going to talk about how radiant heat is used to heat homes and uh, other rooms. So first, the four different types of heat loss. We'll start with conduction. Conduction is uh, what happens when a warm body touches a cool surface. So say you touch a cold ice pick that's been sitting out in the snow. Um, you lose heat to that cooler surface. Um, same thing happens when you go into a cooler body of water. You lose heat to the cooler uh, environment that you're touching. Um, the second type of heat loss is convection. Um, this occurs when uh, density changes. So warm air is less dense and it will rise. Cold air is more dense and it will uh, settle down. So when you have convection, usually you start to form uh, currents and those sorts of things. The common example is a convection oven. Um, the third type of heat loss is evaporation. Um, this is what happens when a liquid turns to gas and a lot of energy is released um, as a result of that, which uh, leads to cooling. Um, sweating is a perfect example of utilizing evaporation. And last, you have radiation, which is what we're interested in today. Um, radiation is a type of heat that's constantly given off by warm objects to the surrounding environment. So um, if you put your hand above a stove after you've turned it off, it's still giving off um, heat to the surrounding cooler environment. So that's radiation. Now in terms of radiant heat, heat for a house, um, usually you find it in a floor. And what people do is you lay out a whole bunch of pipes in the floor, um, and then um, you run something through them. You can run air through them, but air doesn't hold heat very well, so it's not a typical uh, uh, solution. Um, you can run electricity through wires. Um, electricity is pretty constant, but it's pretty costly. So you don't often find radiant heat floors um, that are electrical. Um, your third option is some sort of liquid, um, often water or something else that holds heat well. Put a little bit of heat in there, and if you have it in maybe a thick uh, concrete body, concrete floor, or something like that, um, it gives off heat to the surrounding area and it slowly radiates heat throughout the house. Um, so you're heating the floor and the floor gives off radiant heat um, to the surrounding cooler environment and it keeps your room warm. Um, you can also have radiant heat panels on the walls or the ceiling, um, but these are less common than radiant heat floors. So this has been a brief discussion of how radiant heat and radiant heating works.